Chances with our sausages, let me tell you that. Our sausages are full of highly bred dogs. Some of them. You should get out of the room. There's plenty of water in the bath. Oh, I know that's selfish. Alec, where's he gone? Oh, oh, you're there. Yes. Did, did you see the match on Saturday? Oh, yes. What do you think about the new Einstein left? Oh, very poor. Very poor. Charlie Fairkettle, they call him, don't they? That's right, yes. Twelve thousand pounds are paid for him. Twelve thousand pounds? Twelve thousand pounds. They've got a kid at St. Thomas's school. Tell the Lord. Now I'm a fifty player. Do you know anything about football? Oh, it's gone. Mind you, I'll admit he's very fast. Oh, he's fast. I'll bring him down this time. I'm just about ready for him. I'm not fool me anymore. Oh, now listen, you lot. For the last time, for the last time, are you coming down to breakfast today or not? Because if you're not, I'm going to push it in the oven. Oh, shut up. Ah, oh, I'm going to wash in the bath. Oh, no, Why don't you get to fire in the morning no, and give yourselves more time? Nobody ever seems to want to get up in this house in the morning. I'm fed up. <sighs> Impudent lot. Oh. All of them. Especially our Joe. Him. <laughs> I told you what he was, my dear, before you married him, but you wouldn't listen to me. And the lodgers are no better either. I'll, I'll do away with a lot of them, that's what I'll do. I know. Hey, dear me. Uh, well. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's good about it? I wish you'd cut the cackle out. Let's get to the food. That's more than our line. There for you, isn't it? Cut it out. Cut I it out. This is my tea. Look at my tea. Ah. Where's the tea in China? <sighs> now then, are you all right, lads? Now listen, you two. I'm warning you now. You better behave yourselves, and that's for nothing. And that, that jaw of mine, the twallop. Did somebody call me? Good morning, Fanny. Good morning. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Get down with your breakfast. Good morning. Oh, kippers again. I had kippers yesterday, but I want an egg this morning. Well, you had an egg yesterday morning, hadn't you? Right. right. You had two eggs yesterday morning. Oh, all right. You asked for it, you got it. There's your egg. 
Oh, there's your kipper. Uh, don't do that to me. I don't like it. Don't throw food about. Well, the cat had this. Oh. Is that all right? It's only a bit on the chair. A bit on the chair. It's only got a fair long to go. It's carrying tough weight. That is the toast, will toast, you please? Yes, toast, yes, yes. What's Thank you very much. Thank you. A bit of toast. Is that none? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, hey, can I get you anything? No, I've had enough toast, thanks. Oh, heaven help those who help themselves. Living in all in, we want our money's worth. If I were you, I'd get a little butter because it's very fattening, you know. There'll be enough here for now. Do you realize that we're on ration? Don't handle the butter. Listen. I'm up to stand in a queue for that. Well, if you want to shut up, stop. Let's get right. done with your breakfast. I've never seen anything like it. You're all like, like a lot of mania. You want to talk with your mouth empty? Has the cow packed up as well? Eh, dear, I don't right. know. But with one thing or another, you lot's going to drive me to the madhouse. Get your elbow off the table. And you. Get your elbows off the table. Get your elbows off the... Sorry, Sally. Oh, with your breakfast. More like a lot of pigs at the place. Where's the paper? I don't know. In the hall, I suppose. Well, go and get it. Stand in there like, like somebody... Somebody... She's standing there like somebody waiting to be raffled. I don't you start talking to her like that. Oh, would you mind fetching the paper, my love? Yeah, that's how to talk to the girl. Good. Oh, this bacon salty. Mine wants some salt. Which end does this come out? There's... Ah, that's the way. That's it. That's the end. Can I have this full of tea? I've lost my cup. You have to wait. There's no hot water. No hot water? There's always been hot water here. Thank you. Gentlemen first. If you yeah, don't mind, I'll pay for that. Oh, I want to see how the boxing match went on. Just a minute. I'll pay for it. Oh, me, uh, me, now, if I said this. Now, I'll settle this. Now, sit down. I've had enough of this now. I want to read this for oh, you. Oh, see. Please, sir, for you. Now, there's a piece for you. Oh. There's a piece for you. Now, you've all got a bit, haven't you? If you want to hear from me, get on with your breakfast. Oh, gracious, I'd pay for the paper and they can't get it. Oh, I see that bloke got off. Which bloke? The, the fellow that murdered his mother-in-law in a fit of passion. No. Yes, he got off. I knew he would. It says here, the jury retired after two and a half seconds and came back and acquitted accused without a stain on his character. I knew he would because, you see, his mother-in-law is of the type. And you murder that type. Are you getting any ideas into your head? No, my mother-in-law is a different type altogether. What you saying? Look, got off. Let your breakfast stop your mouth now. Get on with your breakfast. All oh, right. Um, oh! Oh, now this is up my alley. Now, Joe, I shall want some money off you. Now, there's a sale here. It says, come to our sale and see our lovely pink brasses. Brasses? Brasses? Yeah. Brasseries. Brasseries. It's French for, uh, it's French. Oh, and then there's a pair of lovely lo lock nick nick panties. Panties, panties. Oh, oh bless your eyes. Mm. And don't forget to see our special embroidered casseroles. Casseroles? Yeah. Camistoles! Oh, and before you go home in the basement, there's some special silk commandos. Commandos? Commandos? Yeah. Kimonas, silk kimonas! Oh, I remember my grandmother had one of those kimonas. Twenty years was made of mahogany. You know, you want to see a tactician, one of those government tacticians about your eyes. Government what? Tactician. <laughs> you mean optician? You do stop gassing. Wait, sir. Now it's about time you did it all. Hey. Is it you that's put it around the arm bar, me? Me? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen you before in my life, old man. Somebody's pulling it around the damn bomb. I think you've got a good case if you can find out who it is. Hey, who's that? I don't know. How'd you get in anyway? Oh. Don't ask me, I don't know. Oh, bother that nonsense. Hey, I say, has the postman been yet? I couldn't say unless that's him. You know, Joe, I can't help feeling worried about our Mary. I haven't had a letter from her for two weeks. Hope there's nothing wrong. Why should there be anything wrong? Listen, I've never felt really happy about our Mary ever since she went away to live in that uncivilized country. You better not let the young see you say that. I should say not, otherwise you wouldn't owe us any more money. Well, I can't help feeling... You know, I wish she hadn't have gone away so far. What could she do? Mr. Smith offered Tony such a good job representing the firm in America. 
He would have been a mug to have refused that job. I should say he would. How many times have I told you to take your elbow off the table? Now listen, you two, go and get that Spitfire warmed up for us. Come on. All right, don't shout, don't shout. If you gave us more food and less gas, we'd live longer and work harder. Funny, your elbow in the jam. Oh, dear. Those two get on my nerves. I know, I keep telling them, but they don't take any notice of it. Here, wipe it off for that. It's all right for you, Joe, you know. You've never been a mother, have you? Oh, not for years. Hey, look at the time. Well, what about it? Quarter past seven. Oh, it will be late. This will be all through you, spending too much time in the bathroom. Well, well I, I like that. I'm going. Well, I'm coming with you, too. We'll be locked out. Put them cards down. Come here, the lot of you. You're late. But we've got a clock on. Oh, no, you're not. I'm surprised at you, Joe Lawton. You're a shop steward. You ought to set a good example to the others when it comes to timekeeping. So I do. There's nobody clocks off quicker at night time than me. You're not the timekeeper here anyway. The timekeeper's away ill. Oh, what's to do with him? He's got pneumonia. That's nothing. My brother's got a new Ford, but he's not off work. Oh. <laughs> That's nothing to do with it. Hey, let me tell you something, Miss Mellis. It's people like me and Joe that's made this country what it is today, isn't it, Joe? Well, we're not the only ones to blame for that. Go on, get out. You've lost half a day. We're not standing for that, are we? No, no we're not. It's not what you're standing for. Get out. Get out, the lot oh. of you. Oh, you're coming the rough stuff, are you? Go on, get out. Let's go. The bad-tempered old bounder. We'd have been all right with the timekeeper. I thought he'd play the game with us. He wouldn't have done that to the canteen manageress, you know. No. Why not? I'm heard. Heard what? What, the canteen manageress and him? Yes. I didn't know that. Well, he knew about it. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you knew. It's been going on for a long time. Would you believe it? I think it's a cinch. If we don't, it don't. Well, look, we'll try it once again. And if we don't get it this time, we'll blackmail him. Now, quiet. Right. Leave those cars alone and come here. What do you want? I thought I told you to clear out once. Now listen, as a shop steward, I've got a few words to say. Either we'll clock in or you'll clock out after we tell Mr. Smith what we know about you. Oh, yes. Know about me? What do you know about me? Well, tell him, funny. Shall I? Well, who won the first prize in the whist drive last week? The canteen manageress. And who reckoned our card up? You did. And what about the four pounds of butter you gave to Dick Barton for the cup night ticket? Yes, where did it come from? The canteen manageress. Now, get Dick Barton to get you out of that one. And what about the draw for the girls' cycle? Yes, who made the draw? He did. And who won it? The county manageress's daughter. And who's going to teach her how to ride the bicycle? Me. <laughs> and another thing. Who was with the county manageress at the pictures the other night? Oh, well, I wasn't. Oh, yes, she was. We don't go back with our eyes shut. If you weren't with her, how was it you came out with her? And how was it you took her for a short cut through the cemetery? Have you no respect for the dead? Oh, now, look here, boys. Let's stop all this nonsense. I'll square it up for you this time. But don't be late again. <laughs> That's better. Now you're talking. Yeah. Come on, lad. Come on. I'm ashamed of you. And so am I. Oh, dear. Hello, Joe. Hello. 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 What are you doing? Say, is this look all right? Uh, let me have a look. Oh, that's hot. I've just had it done. Is this plug all right? How do I know? When did it have a bath? Not, this plug, I mean. Oh. I think it's a screw loose. There's always been a screw loose. Come on, come on. Get a move on. Better. Mr. Smith wants the demonstration model of this visogram quickly. All right, Joe, can't we do in our base? Well, do a bit better. Let's see how the job's coming along. Ah, you mugs, you've got these leads wrong. I keep telling them. Don't you? He said, all right, don't, don't bother. We'll fix it for well, you. Come along, you two. I want you on another job. Here, here, you can't have those two chaps in our labourers. Don't you tell me what I can do. Are you the foreman here? No, but she's the boss at home. Well, don't talk like a fool. Well, that's what you think, isn't it? Anyway, don't you, don't you, you're not having these two chaps. They're coming with me. That's where you're wrong, they're stopping here. Fanny, you're getting yourself worked up. Don't care, that's done it, we're on strike now. Now then, Fanny Walton, I warn you. I don't care, we're on strike. You can't call a strike. I'm the shop steward. Oh, I'm the one to call a strike. That's what you think. Don't, don't do strike. that to me. Don't do that to me. Well, you're doing a strike? Yes. What for? What's it going to do with you, you blackleg? Well, we haven't had a strike for nearly a week, but it's time we had another one. That's right, yes. Come on down to the strike. Fanny! all this disturbance. Yes. Listen, yes. Yes, shut up, yes. minute, shut up. Well, Mr. Smith, you see, uh, our family, I'm the shop steward, you see, and, and she's starting something. Yeah, you see, there's a strike on, isn't there? Yes! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, well, they, I, well, we're being robbed. We're being robbed of our living. This big skipper here, that's him. Him with a dial there. Look at him, see. He's robbing us of our rights. I mean, it's an insult to the dignity of labour. Is that so, Smithers? Well, sir, we're so short-handed, you see. They are, I think. See, see what I mean? Good gracious woman, fancy stopping for a little matter like that. I'm sure it can be settled amicably. No, no, it can't, because he's not here now, that bloke. He's off oh. three weeks ago. Oh, isn't he? Isn't Mick Appleby, the bloke that's going to settle it. Mick Appleby? And Mick Appleby, and Mick Appleby. What does that mean? Arabic, well, get your hair cut. Right? Now, you've got to go back to your work like sensible people. Uh, I'll deal with this matter personally. Uh, and that's what I keep telling them, Mr. Smith. I keep wait, telling them that. Wait a minute, you're Don't me do talk. that to me. Now, you're bringing on a dizzy bounce. She has those dizzy bounce, Mr. Don't Smith. Don't tell him about those. You're right, Mr. Smith. What with your money, and on my brains, and I was your sweat, everything with this baby's pram will be a complete failure. No, no, baby's pram will be... She means the visa gram will be a success. The visa gram. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's what we're standing here for. It's Wednesday. Pay back. It's your money we're waiting for. Come on! <laughs> That's the mother-in-law again. They'll be around. Well? I'm not so bad. How are you? No, oh, Mr. Cheechy. What do you want? Uh, Mrs. Lawton, I did. have a cable for her. For my wife? Who from? Don't ask me. I don't write them. I just deliver them. Give us all, David. You've got to sign for it first. Oh. Uh, I suppose you, you can write. What are you talking about? You're not talking to a mug, you know. Don't start that business. Oh, yes. <laughs> I should think so. Yeah. Um, you haven't forgotten anything, have you, mister? Oh, your pencil, yes. Uh, nothing else, though, have you? No, I don't think so. Why? We, uh, we're not charged for delivering cables, you know. Oh, no? Well, that's nice. Oh, it's just a part of the service. Oh, well, the government's doing some things good, aren't they? Yes. It's splendid, that. Right, oh, but uh, a long way from our office, though. Riding my bike up that hill, it's jolly hard work, you know. Yes, I should imagine it is, yes, yes. Have you tried pushing it up? Yes, it would be jolly hard. Anyway, I appreciate it. You're a long time starting to appreciate it. Ah, well, you see, I'm sorry, I'm shouting. I thought I was talking to the wife. She's very deaf. You see, I'm on what you call the go slow idea. Oh, of course, you know, we're not allowed to ask for tips. No, I shouldn't think it would be. No, it's, uh, it's against the rules, sir. Yes, and I always believe in sticking to the rules, son. Oh. A chap last week gave me two shillings for bringing a cable. And another chap gave me a bob. They're taking a bit of a chance, you know, they might get you into trouble. Uh, I mean, did you thank them? Oh, yes, sir, I always thank them. Have you got a fag on you? I've just run out. I think I might have. Yes. Um, sorry, I've only got one. We'll half do. Oh, that's fine. Thank you very much. Hey, have, have you got a match? Uh, a lighter. You can't keep a thing for our lodges, you know. That's a nice lighter. By Joe. You don't see these, do you? Uh, 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 oh, that's how I got it. <laughs> we nearly come off. <laughs> yes. Well, can you change half a crown? Down. Yes, well, two shillings and six pennies worth of copper, do. Just the very thing. Six pennies of the copper. I want a penny for the gas, you see. Oh. You want to put it all in and gas yourself. Say, old skinflint. What have you got there? It's, uh, what does it look like, a bottle of milk? Well, what is it? It's a cablegram for you. Oh. It may be, maybe it won a horse in there, they sweep it. Socks are so silly. I wonder who it's from. It'd be a good idea to open it. Maybe the sender's put his name on it. Where, where this, um... Oh, my goodness me. What's the matter? Good gracious, Joyce. It's from Mary. Oh, Mary? Oh, Mary, she's coming home. Oh, Mary's coming home? Oh, that's lovely. Tony coming to England on business. Stop. Coming with him for holiday. Bring him baby. Love, Mary. Isn't it marvellous, Joe? It is marvellous, Fanny. You know, we haven't seen our Mary for three years. No, and Joe, three years is a long time. It is a long time, Fanny. Oh, but look at that. What? Bring him baby. Our Mary, she's got a baby. Our Mary's got a baby. What are you getting yourself excited about? There's nothing clever in that. Other people have babies. Not like our Mary. Oh, but don't you realise, Joe, it makes us both into grandparents. Yes, that's what I was worrying about. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so all my Fanny. Mm. Our Mary coming home. And bringing him home our lovely grandchild. I bet it's like me, fond of the bottle. I used to be hope not. Oh, Joe, 
I'm just longing to get hold of the precious little thing and press it to my bosom. A fuss what a good that'll do it. I wonder if it's a boy, Fanny. Oh, no, no, it'll be a little girl. Our Mary always wanted a little girl. I can see it now, the precious little thing, just like I used to be, Joe. A little bird of love. You were never hatched, you just happened. Well, it's no good standing here like gumps anyway. I've got to get down to Dobson's, you know. I have a lot of things to get. I have some crockery, I want a new frock, I want some nylons, I want some cuticle cream, some nail varnish, lipstick, talcum powder. Yes, you want some of that, I've seen you walk. Smelling salts? Oh, yes, I thought there was something wrong with you. And vanishing cream. Oh, yes, get plenty of that and rub it well in. Now, look here, Fanny. I don't know. You will have your little joke, won't you? Now, listen, don't be an old skin flake. You know how I'm wearing coming home, don't you? I've got to look nice and attractive. Well, that's impossible. But why get on this spending life? What about me? What do I get? Oh, don't worry, Joe. I've thought about you. I'm going to buy a nice new tie and a pair of new shoelaces. Oh, well, that's fair enough. I thought I wasn't going to get anything at first. Well, I'll be going. You're going? You're gone? Well, now Mary's coming home, we've all got to make sacrifices. I know what I'll do. I'll stop smoking for three days and buy the baby a pram. That's it. Don't swing it, Charlie. Don't swing it. Hello, sailor. Oh, it's the copper. Oh, what's the idea of this? Oh, some fool left that in front of the hole. It might have fallen in. Where are you going? We're going home. Where do you live? Oh, not far away, thank you. See, our Mary's coming home from America. And we've had a bit of a do, you see. She married a GI, a, a, an American. Have problem. you finished? No, but you can have it. I've got another one. It's all right. Hey, don't do that. Now, that's, uh, you're not talking to a monkey. You know, you're talking to a white kid now. I'm only touching you now, you know. It's no, all right. Let's all have a drink. Yes, come on home to my place. Right. We'll all have a drink. Come oh, on, home. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Shut up, shut up. Oh, quiet, quiet. Oh, quiet. Oh, across well, the ocean. Oh, wide. Oh, come in. You'll wake the neighbors. The neighbors? We're up. Why aren't they up? Neighbors? <laughs> quiet. If you wake the wife to send for a cup or another, was all locked up. I'm going home. Sit down. Let's have a drink. All right. Is he spilling it? Well, I know you. I've never met you with somewhere before. Were you in the Eighth Army? Yes. I knew. As soon as I saw him in that position, I knew. Do you remember me, the water card corporal? No, no. I remember you. Sit down, I'll bring your memory back. Do you remember... Move up a bit, Charlie. Hey, you pushed me then. Do you remember Ginger Dunn? Ginger Dunn, the cook? The, the old whistle expert? Oh, I... What are you doing? Flipping them in the fat. That's what Ginger used to do with the wristholes. I've often wondered what he used to do with the results. Poor old Ginger. We'll drink to the memory of Ginger Dunn. A lovely thought. I'm with you there, pal. I think I am, right? To Ginger. To Ginger. He'll drink first. You remember Ookie Walker? Ookie Walker? There's Charlie and me yet to do Ginger Dunn, if you don't mind. Where's yours? It's underneath yours, if we can get to it. Ookie's had it. Ookie's had it. I thought it was him that had had it. We'll drink to the memory of Ookie Walker. Who will? We will. Oh, no, you'll have none left for yourself if we do. To Wookie Walker. Wookie Walker. We'll be in the first three, don't worry. And Ginger Dunn. You've done Ginger Dunn. Let me do a bit of remembering. Do you remember the Dublin Fuse of the Earth? Here's to the lot of them. <coughs> What's all that going on down there? I'm coming down for you, Joe Lawton. <coughs> Come on, Charlie. I'm off. Come on, Charlie. What are you doing? What are you getting to? Oh, no, Joe, Give me I... that bottle. Geez, there's some trouble on somewhere. There'll be some trouble in there as well if I don't get in quick. Good night, lads. Good night. This key all keeps moving. Joe, where are you? I'm here. Now, what's the meaning of all this? What's all these police whistles, this row, this commotion going on at this time in the morning? Yes, I'd have been in hours ago if I, could, I couldn't get the key in the hole. No, you never can get the key in the shield, can you? Now, listen, love. Don't love me. I don't this time of the morning. Now, listen, what do the other neighbours think about all the neighbours? Yes, the neighbours. I listen. Joe, listen. Now, listen. I'm going to tell you something now. What? Now, only this morning, Mrs. Drinkwater was talking about you. Oh, her? Yes, that's what you want to drink. What, water? Yes. <laughs> now, listen. Mrs. Drinkwater. Joe. I am a Joe, Mrs. Drinkwater. Do, do. We're both locked out now. Well, give me a key. Give me a key. You're shaping like a daughter, what's she? Give her that side. 
messing about. We're going, we're, we're going to get out of difficulty. Yeah? Come in, say, messing about. Come in. Now, look here. That club is going to be the death of you. I'm going to have it raided. I shall send the police down. It's nothing but a blood tub. What with the picking and, and the beer, I shan't shush. I'm, you're getting me worn out, you know, you are. You were worn out before I met you. Now, listen. I don't know whatever the neighbours will think about you coming over. The neighbours? The neighbours? Don't talk to me about the neighbours. Can we let them know? Open the window! Listen, whatever will Mrs. Webster say... Mrs. Mrs. Webster, that's the frying pan back. Listen to me. It's Mrs. Johnson next door. And Mrs. Johnson, the queen of the Didlam Club. Oh. Oh. Listen, see, now, will you realise that I've got to meet these neighbours? This is Mrs. Douglas. Mrs. Now, Douglas, the woman with a respectable husband. Yes. Oh. Yes, and I might tell you a very respectable husband, too. Yes, you wouldn't see him. He's worse than me. I've just left him at the club. Come on, get to bed, sir. Don't pull me. I'm Come all right if you leave me alone. Yes. Get up. I'm all right if you leave me alone. Go on. Go on. Don't pull me. Where are you? I'm here. Come on. Go on, look again. Go on. Morning, Ken. I mean, Mr. Ken. I was just coming up to your office. Really? Yes, I wanted those contracts from Barker's. Have you still got them? Yes, I filed them away, but it won't take me a minute to get them. Uh, just a minute. Uh, you know that Mary Harrison's coming back from America. Do you remember her? Yes, she was a very nice girl. Yes, I quite agree with you. Wasn't she an old flame of yours before she married Harrison and went to America? Well, we were friends, if that's what you mean. We had some pretty good times together. I bet you did, if I know you. Uh, <laughs> yes, Miss Wynn. Uh, will you please bring the contracts? Aye, aye. Well, I know what you two are talking about. <laughs> nice bit of stuff if you can get it. Keep trying, you never know. Oh, you're not. Oh! Do you still think anything of Mary Harris? <laughs> no, darling, you're the only person I think anything of these days. Uh, yes, just bring those contracts to my office, will you, Miss Westwood? It's Perfect, very Mr. important. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes, uh, what about tonight? Anywhere you like, darling, just name the place. Well, supposing you come out to my flat about 7.30 and we'll have a bottle of wine and see what happens. Oh, uh, <laughs> Yes, Mr. Kent. Hello, Dad. Did you see that letter from Milner this morning? No, was it important? Hmm. I think you'd better go and have a look at it, Ken. Right. Do you always read when you have visitors? Mm hmm. What on earth's the matter with you tonight? Nothing. Why? Well, you've been so moody ever since I came. As if you had something on your mind. Have you? No, of course I haven't. Well, I wish you'd buck up and... Try and be a bit more entertaining. Look, Ken, when are we going to do something definite? What about? You know what about. I mean about us getting married. For months now you've talked of it. Whenever I try to settle something, we, we don't seem to get anywhere. I've got to be very careful with Dad. Breaking the news to him that I want to marry, well, it's, it's not going to be easy. Well, putting it off isn't going to make it any easier. He'll have to know about it sooner or later, so why not tell him straight away? No, no, let's leave it a little longer. I'll tell him. Ken, you do love me, don't you? Of course I do, darling. You're the only person in the world. I was only afraid you might fall for that Mary Harrison again. Now she's coming back home. For goodness sake, stop talking about Mary Harrison. Oh, I was only joking. Well, find something else to joke about. Right. Can I have a cigarette, please? Thanks. Don't you want one? No, thanks. Sorry, darling. Now shall we forget all about Mary Harrison and everyone else and just think about ourselves?
see you both come in. Oh, it is grand to see you, Mary. Have you been away such a long time? Oh, and I have missed you. <laughs> oh, by the way, have you got any nylons for me? <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make you both a nice cup of tea. Now, let me have your things now. Oh, your father will be excited when he sees you, Mary. I can't believe you've got here now. Come on, hurry up now. That's right. Come on over, you see. Well, Mary, you're home. <laughs> now, do make yourself happy, won't you? Everything we have is yours, <laughs> if we've got it. Well, Tony, did you have a nice crossing on the steamer? Oh, sure. We had a humdinger of a crossing. <laughs> have you brought any gum chum? <laughs> you, our Mary and Tony's here. They've come. Now, hurry up and get some tea. They're cold. And, and don't come down half-dressed. Mary, where is it? Where's what? The baby. You know, you said he was bringing it over in the cable. We didn't even know you'd got a baby. I'll bet you've been keeping it as a surprise for your granny. That's right, Mother, surprise. <laughs> Tony, where's baby? Oh, I don't know. The last time I saw her, she was chasing the cab driver. What, at her age? Yeah. Ah, well, the baby? This is a taxi man. She's very lively for such a youngster. My word, she must be. <laughs> oh, you know, Tony, do go and bring it. I wanted to pick it up and cuddle it. You know, it's my first grandchild. Oh, <laughs> baby doesn't like anyone picking her up. She gets fierce. Oh, she'll be all right with me. She might cry when she sees Grandpa's face, but with a dear old granny. Oh, Mary, I just want to cuddle it, you know. Do something. Uh, all right, Tony, go and get baby. OK, honey. Mary, oh, you're lovely. <laughs> Oh, your father's here now, Mary. Daddy, wonderful to see you. My daughter. I kiss you all over, isn't it? You've no respect for me, have you? Well, go away. You're too fat anyway. Go on a diet. Well, let me look at you, Mary. Oh, you're fine. You're looking more like me every day. You think so, Daddy? Oh, take no notice of it, Mary. <laughs> Mary, where's the baby? Daddy, have oh, you seen I, the baby? It, it, I must see the baby. Where's the baby? I haven't Mary? seen the baby yet. No, but I... Don't get excited. Oh, Mary's baby. It's all right. Where's the tea? That's the most important. The tea's coming. There's been a shortage of milk. The lads are fetching the tea. All right, all right. Uh, well, go and light the fire. Mary, it's cold. We're all cold. Go and light the fire. Oh, let me look. You look marvellous, Mary. Just about fed up in this house. Hey, coffee or cocoa coming up? Oh, there we are. Yeah, well, 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 get out of the room. Oh, oh, no. Well, you don't need to make a noise like that. Oh, she wasn't here. Isn't she beautiful? Mary, excuse me. Now, listen, you get off to work. Go on. I'll get off, but not to work. And you? Oh, I don't want to go to work. Do as you're told. When she said go to work, go to work. Yes, and you too. Go on. I don't have to go have the gaffer. Oh, not over me, you're not. I know that. So, to you know you were a pot of tea, you know, with life. Oh, just pour a cup of tea out and shut up. Oh, this bother about that. Get on people's nerves. Don't keep doing that to me. How much do I owe you? Ten shillings, sir. Well, keep the change. Thank you, sir. He's a long time, isn't he? Oh, I, you know, I wish he'd bring, bring it in. I, I'm dying to see that baby, you know. Have patience. I'm dying to see the baby just as much as you are. Can Tony know, Mother? Well, well, Tony. Hello, Pav. It's good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too, Pav. You're looking well. Sit down. Sure. Give me baby Tenny for a moment. Here you are. Come on, baby. Baby? Mm. Baby? Mm. Is that what we've been talking about? This is baby, mother. We always call her baby. Oh. <laughs> well, Fanny, you've got your wish. It's just like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we going to do with it? Well, we'll have to make the best of it. You know, Mum, baby likes someplace nice and soft to sleep in. Oh, I see. Oh, but she can sleep with Mother. Sleep with me? What do you mean? What are you talking about? The dog won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony, give it to him. Go on, come and see. What do you think about the house? Oh, uh, Mum, I think you've got a swell layout here. I mean, Mum. I say, I think you've got a swell layout here. He means the house. You see, you've got to change his very... He means the house. It's yes. a swell layout. Yes, oh, it is. It is nice, isn't it? And you know, Mary, it's cost a lot of money. It's very nice, Mother. Mm. Very yes, nice. it has cost a lot of money. When do we pay for it? What do you mean when you pay for it? Well, you know your mother, how she likes to impress the neighbours. Oh. There's nothing belongs to us. There's nothing <laughs> paid for. I mean, it's, it's on the, what you call the duck and dive plan. The what? It's on the duck and... Sorry, I thought I was talking to Mother. It's on the duck and dive plan. If we see the man first, we duck and dive, you see. <laughs> Good <laughs> gracious. You know, if you don't keep up the payments, you, they'll take it all back. Oh, I never thought of that. No, you never do. Oh, no. You never think of anything important. All you think about is gossiping over the garden wall. Oh, Joe. You know, <laughs> your mother, it's always on that wall. You can't get her down. You couldn't get her down for ground nuts. I think there's a bit of the monkey in her. Well, I like that. The monkey in me, eh? Yes. I'll tell you something about your father now. He's never into appreciate a good home that I've got for him. It's all club, club, club. 
Yes, but I don't fall in the tub of water. No, and I don't fall in the barrel of beer either. <laughs> Come on, Mom, Dad. Ah, uh, I wouldn't be without her, bless her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my old woman's worth her weight in cow heels, Tony. <laughs> well, come on, Mary. Let's go get some breakfast, shall we? <laughs> can you put us up, Mother? Oh, can we, Mary? You're in the best room in the house. You know, you're in the room that the father and I sleep in. <laughs> you? Yes, Mary. Uh, get off to work. Go on. I wish I could bring it home and do it. Well, I suppose we'll be seeing a lot of you now at the works, Tony. Oh, you sure will. I want to get a look at this new visagram you got. Yes, and you'll be coming down to the works too, won't you, Mary? There's a lot of people want to see you down there again. Lots of people I want to see, Mother. Mr. Smith is anxious to see you. So is young Mr. Ken. Ken Smith? Yes. Is he back at the office then again? Of course he is, ever since he left the Ralph. He's the works manager now. Same old Ken, I suppose. Well, look, you, I'm getting anxious. You'd better get off to work, you know, because... What about you? Well, I'm coming later. Don't forget the band rehearsal at the canteen. Oh, I forgot that. Anyway, I'll be there. I'll see you later. Right. Till out, children. Till out, till out. Is Pop in the band? Yes, he's the conductor. Oh, it's the most wonderful band in the world. Yeah. Are you still playing the drums, Mother? Yes, that's how I got this. <laughs> well, now your dad's got past it, you know. I've got to find something to play to pass my time away. Yeah, say, a woman playing the drums, that's sort of odd, isn't it? Oh, it's not unusual in this country. My mother's been playing in the local band since she was 16 years old. That's... Hey, that's some novelty. I've got to catch this. <laughs> oh, yes. Who got the band together this year, Mother? Your dad, you know, Joe. Oh, yes. yes. Say, honey, this is going to be good. Oh, it is. You wait while you hear it. Oh, it's marvellous. It's stupendous. Uh, it's... Well, we'll never get any breakfast at this rate, shall we? Come on, let's go get some. Tell me all about American, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to introduce my new band. They're all musicians. Some can read music and some can't. There are thousands of bands in the country, but none like this. This is unique. This will pulverize you. This will mesmerize you and me. I think so, anyway. And now for the latest novelty band, Smith's Works Maniacs. I will conduct in person. I will now let them loose. Thank you.
revolver. Yeah. Oh. 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 He was breaking my heart. Oh. The end of an old bath. Oh, the broken melody. Oh. Yes, a pretty swell trip, sir. Good. Ken, the Harrisons have arrived. So is little Mary Lawton. I am yeah. glad to see you, my dear. I'm pleased to see you again, too, Mr. Smith. Uh, this is my son, Ken. Yeah, Mr. Smith, I'm very pleased to meet oh, you. Mr. Harrison, do you have a good journey? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, uh, my wife told me a lot about you. Oh, really? Hello, Mary. Uh, I mean, Mrs. Harrison, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Ken. Good. We've been here some time, you know. We've just left the canteen where we've had your band's first rehearsal. I see, Ken, that's too bad. We promised to go. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. I, I forgot all about it. That's the craziest band I've ever seen. You know, there'd be a riot in the States. It certainly would. You know, uh, judging what I saw in the canteen, uh, quite a lot more female labor than the last time I was here. Yes, those you saw in the canteen from the coil winding, valve testing, and transformer assembly shops. They're jolly good at their work, too. But Mary, you're looking very well. Married life seems to be suiting you. <laughs> yeah, sure it does. It suits the both of us, doesn't it, Mary? You know, uh, I'd like to have a look at this. Uh, you clip have been installed since the last time I was here. Yes, well, come along. I'll show you. You'll be interested, I'm sure. Yes, sure. Mary, you don't mind, do you? Excuse me, Mr. Smith. Certainly. I'll see you later. Bye. You ready, Mary? No, have one of mine. I bought plenty back from America. You don't have to queue for them there. No, I suppose not. It's some time since we've met, isn't it? it must be about uh, four years. Yes, about that. Just before I went overseas with the RAF, you promised to wait for me until I came back. When I did come back, you were married and gone to America. A lot of English girls did that, Ken. One can't wait forever. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean. That last time that you went abroad, I wrote you regularly every week. You didn't even bother to reply to one of my letters. Then you seemed to make it fairly obvious that you wanted to discontinue. You say you wrote to me regularly every week? Yes, every week. But I never got a single letter from you. You must have done. I wrote you every week, I tell you. Oh, no. I was moving around quite a lot and... Mail was rather irregular. Mary, you really did write to me? Yes, Ken, I did. I wrote dozens of letters. Finally, I thought... Oh, but surely, darling, that makes no difference at all. I thought you hadn't written to me because... Well, because you didn't love me any longer. But if by some mischance I didn't get the letter, well, surely, darling, we can begin... No, Ken, we can't do anything. Whatever went before I'm married now. And that's all there is to but it. You only married this fellow, Tony Harrison, because you thought I'd let you down. Oh, but I didn't, darling. Mary, you're the only girl I've ever loved. I've never thought of anyone else all the time you've been away, and now I've found out why we've broken Please, up. Please, Ken, it's no use now. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Smith. Was I intruding? Why, it's Mary Lawton. Hello, Val. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I hope you are. What do you want, Miss Westwood? I've brought these contracts for Mr. Smith to sign. I'll put them on his desk, will you? He'll be back in a minute. Anyway, I, I must go now. I hope we see some more of you, Ken. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go easy, Ken Smith. Mary Lawton's a married woman. I am your girlfriend, remember? And I'm standing for no nonsense. Oh, they are jolly good fellow. Oh, they are jolly good fellow. Oh, they are jolly good fellow. And love they all of us. And that's for And that's for And that's for And that's for You were a pip shot. Now, take this cake away, see? And uh, cut it up into little pieces, you know, not too big, because it's got to go all round, and uh, it should be good so that I made it myself. <laughs> well, happy days. Now, I'll we'll keep the party going. Now, we'll play my favourite game, Jungle. You've all got to be an animal, you see? Now, I'll start off, I'll be a squirrel. Elephant. You shut up. Mary, you can be a lion. And Philomena, a giraffe. 
Now, what will you be, Joe? I'll be sick in a minute. <laughs> Here, the parson. Oh, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Lawton. How, how are, are you? you? <laughs> and where's Mary? She's here. Oh, Mary, my dear, how are you? It's nice to see you. I was only saying the other day that I have never been the same since you left us. <laughs> oh, the jolly gathering. Oh, here. Did you hear that one about the barmaid? Joe? My dear Mary, your father gets no better. <laughs> no, neither do his stories. <laughs> Passing a drink. Oh, yes. Sir. What will you have? Some wine? Uh, get him some whiskey. Get him worked up. Yes, Alec, uh, bring the parson a double. Uh, don't bother, Alec. I'll get it. Oh, look what we've got here. <laughs> now this brings back memories. Do you know, I used to play one of these in the band before I before I had my big drum, you know. <laughs> Did you? Yes. <laughs> I would have little blow. <laughs> well, I'd take the top off if I were you. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, being as our marriage has come such a long way, and now we've got our own, we'll play old sweet old, shall we? Yes. Eh? <laughs> right, off we go then. <laughs> What a beautiful night. It's lovely to be back in England again. I'm sure it is. I hope you don't mind me joining you. Of course not. Nice little party. Enjoying it? Thoroughly. When I saw you come out and I just had to follow. Why? I just had to, that's all. I love you, Mary. Can't something be done to rectify our mistakes? I'm married to Tony Cam, remember? You'd never been married to anyone if it hadn't been for these unfortunate errors. Errors or no errors? My life with Tony has been a very happy one, and I intend it to remain that way. You wouldn't have been married to Tony or anyone else. Are you sure you love him that much? Didn't you do it just to spite me? Didn't you? Perhaps I did. You love me once, and you'll love me again. Please, Gary. Mary Harrison, you're not going back to America. Yeah? Who says Mary's not going back to America? Oh, I was just talking to myself. You often do that about other people's wives? Now, don't get angry, old man. I was just having a nice, quiet chat to Mary on this beautiful moonlight night. Say, Ken, you used to be quite fond of Mary at one time, didn't you? I did. You're still fond of her? Yes, very well. There's just one word of warning. Be careful, Ken Smith. She's my wife. That's all. Maybe there's nothing to it after all. Well, listen, lads, we've had a very nice party so far. Now, I'm going to leave you to it. Now, be careful. Oh, yes? Be well, right. look, Fanny, don't worry. Go and see to the guests. You leave know. it to us. We'll do the watching you know. up. Yes. Well, good night, everybody, and thanks very much. Yes. Come. I said thank you very much. Oh, that's quite all right. I'll see to the door, you see. Now, be yeah, good night, all right. Be all right. Good night. everything to us. Don't worry. Nice lad. She gets, uh, we should have roped him in, it was a hand, shouldn't yes. we? I'm sick of washing up. So am I. Now tell you what we'll do next. I have a very good suggestion to make. What? I'll make you no thought of it now. Have a drink. Oh, oh a drink. That's a good ah. idea. Oh, yes. Oh, oh refreshment, refreshment. Oh, refresh oh, 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 and Fanny, Fanny, I'll tell you, Fanny, oh, she excelled herself, didn't she? she? Oh, yes. she excelled herself. In that instrument. There's no doubt about it. Yes, she's very good. The funny thing is all about Fanny. 
Yes. Uh, you always played that instrument when we were courting, you really? know. Really? Really? Round by the gutworks. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, the policeman used to come and listen. It's it's been so long, yes. boy. Hey, 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 oh, 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 there's another one here. Oh, there's plenty yes, more. Don't worry. Yes, listen, talking are. about police in general. She used to play that piccolo when the policeman used to come. I couldn't get rid of him. He used no, to love it. Yes, he used to love it. Oh, sorry. I beg your pardon. Now, uh, what about this political situation? What do you think, lad? Political situation? Yes. Oh, I don't want to bother about it. It's not worth the candles. Did you see the picture in the paper? Candles? Uh, no, no, the, the unveiling. Oh, the Lady Godiva. Oh, yes. Lady Godiva that rode on Brown Jack. Yes, to York. Trying to get Gordon Richards and he couldn't do the weight. Really? Yes, I remember that. Yes, she went to York. No, no, that was Dick Tebb and the fellow that played bowls on the, on the whole, the whole, the whole. Oh, oh, oh. The oh, 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 oh. Let's get on with the work. Oh, let's get on with the work. Oh, yes, all right. Oh. Uh, do you want some hot water? Oh, yes. Give us some hot water. Some hot water. Some hot water. You want hot water in the jug? There we are. Get some hot water. Don't make it. What are you talking about? The politics. Hey, the politics. You talking about the politics? Oh, what are you doing? What are you giving you some hot water? Oh, some plates, some plates, some cups. Oh, some cups. Give us a cup. You've seen Mary. She went to bed a few minutes ago. Oh, thanks a lot. Guess I'll hit the hay myself. Good night, Mom. Good night. Anything I do again, I'll do it myself if I want it doing proper. Never seen such a thing. Hey. You know this morning's sales reports, sir. Thank you. Is that all you're going to say to me? I've got a lot of things to do. Surely you have a minute to spare for me. Well, Belle, I'm very busy. What's the matter with you, Ken? The matter with me? Nothing. Why? Well, ever since Mary Lawton's come back, you haven't been fair to me. You never take me out. You just leave me high and dry, and I'm not going fool. to... You don't want him to hear you, do you? I don't care if he does. Well, will you be quiet? Well, it's all very well for you, but what about Belle, me? Belle, will you be quiet? Well, you, you're going to take me out to lunch today. Oh, all right. Very well. See you at one o'clock. Hiya, Val. Good morning. Oh, I too. Oh, Why don't you shut up and be quiet. Uh, it's all right, you talking. You haven't got it, our fanny. Oh, I know, but I might as well have it. Mine, sir. Which one is it? Let's see. It's a... Get away. Oh, you want to go and have it out? I don't like it, alert. It's alert. What a big man you are. Look. It's going to be nice for me, isn't it, tonight? We're going to the theatre. It's going to be beautiful for me. Oh. Morning and groaning. I said, so. I have an idea. Oh. I'll burn it out for you. I'll burn you out if you don't get away. You know, so if it was my truth, I'd get it out. Yes, I would get it out if it was yours as well. Oh, come on, Joe. The dentist will whip it out for you in a couple of seconds. Yes. Uh, sure. Yes. Look at it. That was right. Yes, all right. I'll go. Yes, it's wearing me out. Yes, it's wearing me out, too. It wasn't the tooth that wore you out. Now, listen, none of that. Now, now, come on, now, see. Let, let, shall we come with you? No, yes, come on. Yes, come, come on, come on. Come on, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't have the tooth out in the firm's time. Why not? It, it aches in the firm's time. Yes, come, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. All this fuss about oh. a tooth. Oh, you're worse than a baby. Oh, oh for goodness sake, be quiet. Oh, oh, oh. Now listen, now, Joe. You ought to be thankful you work for a firm that provides dental treatment for the staff and free of charge. I didn't buy this, did I? I got this free. Yeah, I wouldn't go in there if I were you, Joe. Why not? Remember Nobby Topper? Yes. He went in there last week. They bury him tomorrow. But I'm not going in. You're trying to get rid of me. You're a nice guy. You've only got to die once. The fortune teller told me I'd die in bed. Oh, you're crowded. Come on, come on. Come on. It's all right now, it's painless. It's, it's all right. Look, it's all right now. It's not aching. 
Jenkins. No. Whatever's the matter with Joe? He wants all his teeth out, Nash. I don't. I only want one out. Well, I'm afraid the dentist isn't here at the moment. Oh, where's he gone? He's gone home. He's got toothache. <laughs> come on. Come on. Ah, well, I'm going home, too. No, 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 no you're not. not. Come, come on. on. Here, 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 Go, go and get Look, those uh, gas things, okay? Look, I'm going to be all right. Look, look at it. Do you want this? Yes. Well, it's not around here. Dan, bring me antiseptic. I'll swing for this. It's going to be... Oh, where was this? Now, Joe, just be brave. I'm not going to hurt you, you know. If anything happens to me... Idea where she's been? None, whatever. Seems sort of odd. I mean, uh, going off like this without leaving any word. Probably gone to see some more of her old friends and started guessing. You know what we women are. Yeah, I guess so. But I wish she'd hurry up. There's a car here now. Perhaps that is Mary. Yeah, maybe. Thanks for the ride, Ken. I enjoyed it. All right, darling. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lieutenant, you're wondering where I got to. You're dead right, I have. 
That Ken Smith seems a very capable driver. Anyway, where have you been? Just for a run in the country with Ken. Yeah, I know that, but where? Does that matter? Well, it certainly does. <sighs> Tony, don't be so childish. Ken called round after lunch, asked me if I'd like to go for a drive. I said yes, so we went. I'm sorry, but I just don't like you going out with that Ken Smith. Why? Ken's an old friend. I don't see any harm in it. Yeah, but you happen to be my wife. I just don't like you going around in other men's cars, whether you're old friends or not. Well, I didn't think there was any harm in it. We just went to Cotton's Hotel for some tea. Well, I just don't want you to see him again, that's all. Tony, aren't you being a little heavy-handed? After all, Ken is an old friend. I've known him for years. Yeah, but you weren't my wife years ago. Now you are. I wish you'd remember that fact. Anyway, I just don't want you to have anything to do with that guy again. Do you hear? Yes, I hear. Well, that's okay, then. Look, Tony. If you think I'm going to drop my old friends just because you decide to behave like some mid-Victorian husband, you've got another guess. You're not going out again with Ken Smith, I'm telling you. The way you're going on about this, Tony, is just making me want to go out with him again. Look, Mary, I'm warning you. Don't bother. Why don't you come up the path? Stepping on my anti-geraniums? Well, where's your anti-phagistines? These are wallflowers I'm planting. Oh, haven't you got them the wrong way up? You'd look funny the wrong way up. It's a nice afternoon, isn't it? Yes, it is a nice afternoon. Mm. It's lovely to get a drop of fresh air and do a bit of gardening after a week's hard work. You're right, Joe, you're right. Yes, you yes. know, I'm all in favour of this five-day week, Fanny. Yes, what you want is a one-day week and six days rest. No, Mr. Lee, the government's not bothered to give us that. No, when it is, you'll have a different job, my lad. You'll be stuck it up for somebody. I hope it's for you. I oh. see there's no slate in the coal. Oh, yes. And another thing, why, why, why don't you put that stinking pipe away? Why would you smoke in? Filleted bristles with a touch of ground nuts. It smells like it, too. I'm going to have a bet. Have you got a tip? Yes. I've, I've got a tip for the horse. I've got a... I've got a tip, you've got a shout with. I've got a tip for a horse called Lady Gossip out of Chinwag by Chatterbox. Oh, well, hope it runs the other way. It won't make any difference. I'm backing it each way. Mind those, hey, be a good down the garden pathway. Hello. Who threw that stone? Who threw that through my window there? Will it go field? I'll back your ear You might well run away. Go <laughs> down there, Kelsey. Messing about with him. We're going to get no exit at all. Are we? Good morning, Mrs. Jefferson. I'm glad I've seen you. Uh, I was going to ask you, have you got a bit of lard you can lend me? Because... I thought he hadn't. No, it's, oh, oh, it is. Very scarce, yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was, I was going... I was you. He's at home, you know. He's pottering about in the garden. He, oh, he's mulling the way, you know. He, they are. the better off at work of these men. I, I've said so many times. Well, I, I made up my mind I was going out this morning. It's soon, I mean, if you don't get out, it's dinner time, and then you get... Oh, you do. Uh, yes, it's right bad. How, 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 how are you these days? Uh, have you? Oh, I say. Have you really? Well, I haven't been well myself, you know, because... Have you? What do you mean, then? Well, yes. It'll make you feel a bit worried, won't it? I wouldn't bother if I was you. I... Oh, no! Perhaps it's this here bread, you know. You can't tell. I... Yes. Oh, a bit of bicarbonate will shift it, you know. I, I shouldn't worry over that because... Yes, I saw your old man this morning. He's looking very well, isn't he? He's what? Middle-aged spread. Oh, I'll get some of that. Is it on points? Because... <laughs> well, you know, I, I haven't been well myself. I haven't, honestly. I keep begging along, you know, but uh, with me... Well, no, I keep... Um, I keep having them hot sweats, you know. I, oh, it, it takes it out of you, you know. It, these men, they don't. They don't know what it is. No, I, I, you know, I... Well, he's the same. Mm. It's, a, it's a funny thing, you know. I was only saying last week... Oh, oh shit. Give me a belt. Ooh. That's the third time on the same break this week, you know. I'll have to watch myself. <laughs> How's your dog going on these days? Uh, getting better. Uh, our cat. Oh, it's finished. Oh, no. It smells, you know, too. Mm. It wants doing away with. Yes, it'd rather go. I can smell it in the custard on a Sunday. Mm. I suppose I'll have to take it at all soft at our house, you know. It'll be me. It'll have to go to town all with it, you know. It, it is. Anyhow, who, who has we? Oh, uh, oh, do you mean, uh, Mrs? No, I won't say a word. Oh, no, I never talk. Just a minute. I... Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not a bit surprised. I told her. I told her she would go to those illuminations. I'm not a bit surprised. You know, I never did like that coach driver. I know. I, he tried it on me. He did that. 
Yes. Didn't he? Oh, yes, I know. You see, he started. He started messing about with his gear. But, hello, what's that? That's my pudding. Oh, I forgot all about it. It's my rice pudding. I've left it on. It'll be burnt to a cinder. Our, our Joe, play a little L. Right, Joe, I'll tell you about, all about it later. Right, Joe, get out. Ah! Can't you stand another two? Why didn't you use it? Joe, Joe, I'm sorry. Joe, Joe, help me out. There's the front door bell. Stop there, don't go away. I'll love you a minute. <laughs> and Mary. Shall we join them? Yes, if you want to. Hello, you two. Hello there. Hello. Hello. I didn't know the wood court was a haunt of yours. Oh, yes. We used to come here quite a lot when I was stationed over here. Won't you sit down? Thanks. Did you enjoy our dinner? Yes, thank you. The food's very good here. Well, if you must know, there's a special reason why we're here tonight. Oh, what is it? Well, Mary and I are coming to your staff dance, and she absolutely insists on my getting into a bit of practice first. You know, Mary doesn't think much of my dancing. Well, don't take it so to heart, Tony. After all, we can't all be gigolos like Ken here. Yes, well, never mind about that. You go and do your stuff. Go on. Okay, Mary. Come and suffer in a good cause. Now, wait a minute. Why don't you dance with Val? She'll show you a few wrinkles. Do you mind, Val? Not at all. I'll give you some real polish. Okay. Do you mind, Mary? Of course not. Okay, come on, Val. Lovely dancer. She's a very nice girl. She'd make your charming wife. Val and I are just good friends, that's all. Ken, have you ever thought of taking a trip to America? It's a wonderful country. So is England. That's where you belong. Your firm has been very kind to us since we've been here. In fact, they're organizing a staff dance for us before we go back. You were a great favorite before you went away, Mary. They thought a lot of you. So do I. Why, Tony, you're a brilliant dancer. All the girls at the staff dance would be mad about you if you step around like that. Say, you wouldn't kid a fellow, would you? You know, you deserve a drink after this. We'll have a drink. Sure we will. Come on. I think that calls for a drink. Wait up. Uh, what are you going to have? I think I'll have a pim. Mary? Same for me, please. Scotch for me. Two pims, two large scotch. Soda? Yeah, please. Soda. Very good, sir. You danced very well this evening, darling. Say, who are you kidding? He certainly did. Well, now, never mind about his dancing. Will you have this waltz with me, darling? I'd love to, Ken. You don't mind, do you? No, carry on, honey. <laughs> How about keeping your promise and coming up to my flat? I don't think I'd better, Ken. Oh, don't let me down, darling. You've let me down often enough. All right, I'll come, but remember... Tomorrow night? Yes. Tony's going round to the club to have a drink with Dad. Okay, that's it. Thanks for the game. Are you two going to start this match or die of old age here? I'd appreciate it like it. Say, Pop, I just won my game. I hope you're going to win yours. You bet, son. You bet. 
Yeah, don't you think it's a good idea if we open the doors before I start shooting? Well, you can play better, I'm sure. Oh, you fool. Can't you look what you're doing? You're too late. I've done it. How's that go? Is it all right? It's all right if you get to see them all. You want one in the clock? Get out of the way. Okay. I must have air. I must breathe. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, is it you that's pulling around an arm bar, me? Listen, we've got a match on, old man. I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody's pulling around an arm bar, me. There'll be room in the van for the two of us. I'll drive. Yes. Ready? Oh, Larry. Keep it up. Keep it up. Do what you do. Okay. Careful now. Beautiful. Found the, ball. Found the ball. Oh, yes, there we are. Hey. I'm all right. It's you. <laughs> Beautiful. Blenders. That's two eighteens. That's forty-seven and forty sixty-two and ninety-four. Yes, and two for markings at uh, ninety-five. Good enough. Well done, Joe. Home for you, Mr. Harrison. Personal call. Okay, thanks. Excuse me, Pop. Certainly, son. It's uh, your throw. We've got something to beat, you know. Oh, 15 and a half, plus two, 18 and a half. One for his knob. Put down 24. Right. Hello? Is that you, Tony? I've just phoned Ken at his flat, and your wife answered the phone. But I can hardly believe it. Listen, Tony, your wife's alone with Ken Smith at his flat. You're quite certain. Say, where is this flat? Meet me at the town hall, and I'll take you there. Okay. I'll be with you in less than 10 minutes. Bye. Look, I'm all right. Let me have a bottle of whiskey to take home. Oh, all right. And you and I'll have a drink together, a quiet drink. Oh, oh right, hey, Joe. Oh, we might as well all have a drink. Come yes, on. Yes, I think we will. We'll eat it. Drink? No, thank you. Here's to your bright eyes. Don't you think you'd better have a drink, darling? After all, it is our health I'm drinking. No, thank you. I don't want a drink. In fact, I should never have come. I think I'd better leave now. Oh, no, you don't, darling. You're going to stay until we get this thing settled, without any fear of interruption. There's nothing to settle. What you're suggesting is, is impossible. Then why did you come? I came because I wanted to make you understand that I'm not... You could have written and told me that, or ignored me in the future. Oh, no. Your coming here today means that you couldn't get it on with It means nothing. Arm. Nothing at all. It means you admit you made a mistake in marrying Tony, that I'm beginning to mean more to you than he does. It does not. Now, come along, darling. Don't try and fool me. Why not admit that you came here today because you love me? I may have loved you once, Ken, but I don't now, and you so... You love me once, and you'll love me again. That's all there is to it, darling. Please, Ken, let me go. I want to leave now. No, no, darling. Now you're here, you're going to stay. No, I'm not. <laughs> darling, no one's going to disturb us. Why not relax? There you are. I told you so. Well, you were right. So, Mary, you did come after all. How did you know I was here? I have a shrewd suspicion that there's our answer. Did you bring him? Yes, I did. Well, that's probably not such a bad thing. Now we're all here, we might as well have a showdown. Yeah, I think so, too. I'm sorry for what I've got to say to you, old man, but somebody's got to say it, so here goes. You're probably aware that Mary and I were very, very close friends. I'm just beginning to find out. Well, since meeting me again, she's decided that she's made a mistake in marrying you. She wants to divorce you so that she can marry me. That's not true, Ken. You know it's not true. Now, don't go back on your word, darling. I'm not going back on my word. I never gave you my word. Tony, you must believe me. What do you expect me to believe? When I come in here and find you in that guy's arms. But, Tony, he forced me. Oh, he did. Just a minute, you two. It's about time I had something to say in this. Now, wait a minute, Val. This has got nothing whatever to do with you. I have something to tell you, Ken, which will settle once and for all who you are going to marry. What are you getting at? I'm only telling you that you're marrying me. Because, well, because you've just got to now. I'm going home. Get yourself out of this one, pal. Hey, Mary, wait for me, Mary. I'm coming too. And the key? We can't get in without the key. Can we? This one is it. Now tie the ball. I might as well. That is one first. That's not the one. That's it. There you go. That's how it is. Tunnel. Oh, to my head. I'm rich, 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 i
Let go. Again? Hello? Looks if nobody's in. I'll bet they're all out at that club again. Oh, so that's how it's your? Tight again. Now, I wonder if he's fallen out of bed. I bet he has. I bet he has. Eh, hey, dear. I'll have his stat stopped at that club. I know what I'll do. If that's how it's your, I'll break his neck. What's all this noise about? Hey, I fell out of bed. The bed. Where will we? Mind your own business. I've been out. Been out? Thank you. Yeah. It's one of, one of these nights you'll come home sober. One of these nights I won't come home at all. Don't be a change, I I've got nothing to come home for anyway. Oh, shut up. Put the sock in it. It's about... I'll marry a respectable gentleman, that's what I'll do. You're breaking out in spots. My own business, I don't know. Right. You're on with your annual, I think. Lie down! Have you seen the size of you lately? Oh, yeah. Like a battleship. Bless you. You want outsizes? You, you want elephant sizes. That's what you want. Ooh. Tired, I know that much. Well, get into bed and get to sleep. But I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Get your nerves. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, on goes the tent. Would you do these silly things and then row after it? I don't know. Damn. I suppose I'll have to get down here and have a look. Aye, oh. Damn. Oh, dear. Where are you getting to? Help, help, help. Help? What do you want help. to get yourself? Help. Oh. Come on, help. Come on, people's nerves. Then I'll take it, Dean. Have a look at Wait a moment, I'll lift you out. When I lift the bed, now where you're treading, I'm all right. Oh, hey, I don't know. You know you are a nuisance. You're more, you're more, you're more bothersome than they are anyway. I can't understand you. Honestly, why don't you come up to bed at a reasonable time? Come on, pull it down. Hey, I found them at the center one. Oh, 
Been there a long time. Come on, Teddy, let's have a look at you. Do you know, I. Oh, there's one pool there. It'll be out any minute now. Come on. No, 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 Teddy, no, no, not quick. Let's have a look at you. Oh, no. Put your, put your hands down. Uh -uh. You're not shy. Oh, well, look at all these nice boys and girls from the works. And Uncle Alec, and you'll have a peep. Well, rub your eyes right well. Now, look. That's right. Are you all right now? Well, whiffed. That's right. No, Teddy, come here. Now, what are we going to do? Because you, you're going to play your trumpet. Well, now, where is the trumpet? Have you got a trumpet, Uncle Fred? Because yes, Fanny. Oh, you got a trumpet, Teddy. There's a beautiful My word. That's a lovely trumpet. Well, you know, I didn't know... Now, don't get excited, Teddy. Teddy! Teddy! It's naughty. Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. You've only little ears. All right. I won't shout anymore. Well, now we've got the trumpet, what are we going to do? Oh, no. You want me to blow it? You want me to blow it? Yes, I know where. Well, now, Teddy, if I blow there, what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to have a bash? Oh, I see. Well, now, I think we ought to have a rehearsal first, don't you? With, with Uncle Freddy, yes. And with the piano. Do you mind if we have a rehearsal with the piano? Oh, Freddy. Just to find out where we are, you see. We'll go down the scale first, shall we? Right on, then. <laughs> Oh dear, no, Teddy. Now don't start swanching, Teddy. We haven't started that. Harry James was your uncle. All right. Well, now, are you ready, Uncle Arthur? We'll go down the scale and find out where we are. Ready? Right, rehearsal. <laughs> oh, you were short of knobs. I see, short of knobs. Well, now, how many knobs have we got now? Three. 
Now, what should we play for all the folks here? Oh, no. No, he wants to play the flight of the bumblebee. Oh, no, that's too slow. Let's play... Yeah, that's right. Three blind mice. <laughs> Three blind mice and... Oh, you want all the orchestra. Oh, dear, that's very expensive, isn't it? Mm, well, and twiddly bits as well. Oh, we've got twiddly bits. Oh, plenty of twiddly bits. All right, we'll have all the orchestra and twiddly bits and three blind mice. Mm, right, oh. No, he says, don't forget his twiddly bits. All you've got. <laughs> right, oh, then. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? <laughs> Good gracious me. That's ridiculous. Hey, that little thing. Hmm? Yes, I know he frightened me, then. He wants twiddly bits. <laughs> Not man all covers blowing off. All right, we'll have another try. I don't. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, it, it's going worse. I mean, we never had this trouble with Sir Malcolm, you know. <laughs> all right, a little bit more, then. <laughs> Yes, that wasn't called for. Certainly not in season at the moment. Anyhow, yes, I think we'd better play our last piece. All right, well, what shall we play? All right, pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel and no twiddly bits this time, straight through. Are you ready? Right, oh, then. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, he's going to sneeze. Oh, dear, get your Macintoshes on, folks. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. <laughs> oh, I see. Smash this trumpet now. Are you right? We go then. <laughs> Goodbye to Joe and Uncle Dan and Uncle Alec. Hmm? Oh, no, come along now. I, I see. I think he's a bit tired, you know. All right, put your hand in now. Your hand in. That's right. Is it in? <laughs> well, he's getting tired. I think we'd better put him back to where we got him from. Put him back to bed. He's done very well. <laughs> I've been around. I've been... Uh, oh. Good evening, darling. Good evening. Uh, what's this going on? Who are those? Oh, the ladies. They're uh, friends of Dan's. What oh, yes. to do with me? Only I want to be sociable. Yes. Oh, you must talk to them, you know. Yes, well, who are they? There are two mannequins from Madame Tussauds. Oh, that's where you both end up. In Madame Tussauds in the Chamber of Horrors. Why? Have you seen yourselves? What I've you? never seen anything so disgusting in all my life. What do you mean? The wish was a flute? It's terrible. They're all right. They fit in places. Good gracious. Well, we've had an accident. Dan fell in the bath. I fell in, trying to get him out. And we've got to borrow these clothes from the name. Oh, you mean the bath at all? Yes, mm -hmm. our bath. Yes. yes. And uh, have you left everything all right? Uh, uh, is everything okay? Oh, when did you see the bath? Oh, 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 it's <laughs> funny. It's like a bathing pool. Did we leave the taps on? I don't remember. He doesn't remember when we left the taps on. <laughs> so why worry? I mean, just we're having a good time here. Come on, let's go to the bar and have a green goddess. Yes, we'll have a green goddess. See, let's some cockle water. Oh, uh, you don't mind, darling? No, no, no. Go and entertain the people on the ballroom floor. Do the splits. They'll love it. Yes, I'll do the splits on you when I get you home. I wish we were on the boat going home. Yeah, so do I. Oh, I've had a pretty swell time over here. Except for that upstart Ken Smith. 
Let's forget all about him, Danny. Val Westwood will take care of him. Yeah, she certainly will. You know, I can arrange for your ma and pa to come to the States next year. Maybe bring a, a new model of that visagram with them. If they've got it ready by then. If it blows up in America, they'll probably deport us. Now you're being sarcastic. Good job the firm could do without it. Anyway, here's to the trip. Come on, come on. Oh. 